Now with cropping, uh, the area that you don't select, those pixels are just discarded. Um, what we're gonna do on this one, instead of using the crop tool, we're gonna change the size of the canvas. And we're gonna make the canvas smaller so there's not as much space to display the image. So it's kind of like cropping, but the difference is that you're not discarding any portions of the picture. Now I'm going to zoom in to 100 here. And it's really important with photographs before you do anything to get rid of the little lock here. And you can click on it to get rid of it, or you can double click and rename your layer. And we're just going to call it Santa here. Okay, clicking on the lock, double clicking and renaming. Make sure you get rid of the lock. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into image. And instead of choosing image size, we're going to do canvas size. And then we're going to change the dimensions to two inches by two inches. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now we are making the canvas smaller, so it is going to give us a little warning. It says it's smaller, and some clipping will occur. Well, we kind of expected that, so we're going to go ahead and click on Proceed. And the neat thing about doing it this way is we can turn on the Move tool, and we can actually left drag and position that any way we want. And then we can save it. So we haven't lost any of the image. Nothing was discarded. And we'll just go ahead and keep the name the same. And then you can close it. 